All right, good morning. It is about nine o'clock, I guess, or maybe a little later in the morning here in South Georgia. We are out in the woods. Just wanting to kind of show you what it looks like around here in South Georgia. There's a tree that caught my attention here. An unusual formation here. And what caught my attention is three. There's three of them. One and three. Now friends, that's one tree right there. But it's got three apparently equal almost it's a pretty big tree those guys are at the bottom they're probably uh, 18 inches in diameter and then it goes up and they're way up there now this is i don't know what it is exactly what kind of tree it is it's a, it grows in the in the bottom in the swamp though All right, what you got here is three in one. Three trunks, but they're all joined together at the bottom. And it reminds me of the Holy Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. People get perplexed about that. But there's many examples of something like that in nature. Let's go over here and have a look. There's another beauty right there that goes up and then it goes way over and it's hanging way out there, way, way up there. That's got to be a hundred feet up there. Now, all the woods in Georgia doesn't look like this. This is cleaned out under here. It's almost like a park. And the reason is that we have livestock out here. The livestock eats the leaves that come and clean the briars up and all that. This is very beautiful. Now, I would be negligent if I didn't use this excellent opportunity to tell and to declare the name of Jesus Christ before men. Now, I don't guess there's anybody that hasn't heard of Jesus. And I'd say that there's very few that haven't heard that Jesus rose from the dead. Now you notice I said they've heard it. I didn't say they believed it. But I do believe it. And I read a lot about Jesus in the Bible. And Jesus said, I'll tell you one of the things that he said, which is extremely important in my opinion. Let's see if I can get a different... That's zooming in, that's zooming out. Okay. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Now you notice Jesus didn't say, I'm one of the ways. He said, I am the way. And then he said, I am the truth. Not a truth, or one truth, or many truths. He said, the truth. And then he said, I am the life. And he promised to give those, that life to us, if we could see that he was the way, the truth, and the life. And when he came, started his ministry, he came upon some of the disciples. And I guess it was Peter who he started with. And he said, follow me. And the Bible says they forsook all. They left their boats and their nets and they followed him. And they followed him for the rest of their lives. 
And he's calling us to follow him too. So that he may lead us through the valley of the shadow of death. That is, he's offering us eternal life. I'm inviting you that are listening to me, looking at this beautiful scene in the woods in South Georgia, to accept Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. If you can't see who Jesus is, I'm going to zoom in on this, this tree right here. Look at that beautiful thing there that's going in all kinds of directions up there. Look at that. Let's follow it up. All right, now I've told you what I think the way, the truth, and the life is, and I'm going to tell you what you can do about it. You can ask Jesus to save you. Very simple. Why don't you do it right now if you feel like it? Jesus, would you please save me? I want to go to heaven. I want to have eternal life. Now, if you are having trouble thinking that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, then I've got a remedy for that, too. Why don't you just ask Jesus? He said, ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Okay? He means what he said. What does he mean, ask? He means ask this question. Jesus, would you please show me who you are? Would you show me that you are God and that you do have the authority to grant eternal life? There's the Trinity right there. So ask him, Jesus, would you show me who you are? One more piece of advice. Need to learn a little bit more. Learn of me, he said. And the place to learn of him is the Holy Bible, in the New Testament, in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Read those. Read them slow. Take a week to do it. Go through it. Try not to prejudge and see what you think. There's the information right there. All right. I guess that's the about all I can say about that. I guess I'll do the Lord's Prayer and then end. That's my typical thing. The Lord's Prayer has all the information you need in it, but it's hard to see it if you're not a believer. But let's say it. Let's Everybody has heard the Lord's Prayer. Let's say it together, and then I'll end the video. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.